بسم الله He is the benevolent, the giving and merciful. He is so indescribable. His love is irreversible. Word undeniable, lyrically untriable, ultimately viable, eternally supplyable. Maybe inconceivable, but beautifully believable. The true reality. There's no similarity. Gave us more than charity, peace and prosperity. Why did we never care to see it? We can keep its clarity. The Almighty, the Father, metaphorically, but in the history they tried to make his word a mystery. Gave him mortality and the promorphic battle. Say he's got a seed. They can never bring the proof to me. And honestly, the greatest, the best beyond time and space, beyond matter and flesh. Yes, he's uncomparable. Yet his parables infinitely listed. Pictures couldn't give us the description. The pictures missing. But he created all the living in every dimension. And he inspired what I'm given to give him of wisdom, devoid of any needs. Anything that he wants, all he has to say is be. 'Cause he's the untouchable, infinitely trustable. His plan unstoppable. Power un. Untoppable, the reliable, undeniable, greater than the physical, master of the mystical, the master of the worlds, the fashioner of seas, the crafter of the universe, the atoms to the bees. He is love, he is truth, he is light, he is one, he is king. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sir. How you doing, my sister? I'm still on that high from the night of power. Come on, praise be to Allah. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Kareem. We have another great episode for you today. But before we get started, let us open in prayer. A'udhu billahi minish shaitan rajeem. Say, I seek refuge in Allah against the accursed Satan. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful, master of the day of judgment in which we now live. Thee alone do we serve. Thee alone do we beseech for help. Guide us on the right path, the path you bestowed your favors upon, and not the path you brought your wrath down upon, nor those who've gone astray after hearing thy teachings. Amin. Amin. La wakba. La wakba. Welcome to season three, episode 28 of the 99. I know, can you believe it? We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. Of the 99 attributes of Allah in 30 days, where we take three to four attributes per day and go into their meaning and usage in our environment. And this year's theme is living by the book, Attributes in Action. And Allah says in the Holy Quran, quote, Allah, there is no God except He. To Him are the most beautiful names. And the 99 characteristics of Allah, God reflects the noblest of qualities. They represent the perfect ideal for human beings to inspire to. And our Islamic tradition says, derive your manners or character from the attributes of Allah. And our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, Cultivate within yourselves the attributes of Allah. And our minister, the honorable minister, Lord Farquhar, tweeted, when you have an attribute of God, you should strive for degrees of excellence in that attribute. Praise be to Allah. And so again, this year's theme is living by the books, attributes in action. So I want to read a quote from the most Honorable Elijah Muhammad from The Theology of Time, dated June 4th, 1972. And he says, we must go to the root to prove that the all-wise, the best knower, is with us in the person of Master Far Muhammad. Far is a name used by the God of the last day, who is opening up the kingdom of heaven to you and me. The Far is a name outside of the 100 attributes of God. It's an extra name it to itself and the bible gives it to you like this he quotes he had a name written up and down his thighs that no man knew but he himself end quote so all of this is understood now god has taught me there is nothing of the bible nothing else of the quran that is yet to be misunderstood it is understood today and so again we thank allah for prophet muhammad peace be upon him for being that one, that man that the Quran was manifested through. But we also thank Allah for the three men in our midst who are also books. 
And that is the great Mahdi, Masafar Muhammad, the great Messiah, the exalted and living Christ, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and our divine warner Messiah and Jesus in our midst. And that's the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. And in this clip, we're about to show you from the time and what must be done, part 54. The honorable minister Louis Farrakhan tells us who that great Mahdi is, Masafar Muhammad, and how he is the manifestation of the 99 attributes of Allah, plus a few, few more. more. So let's watch the clip. As we have been sharing with you in these broadcasts of the time and what must be done, the representation of the great Mahdi, or long-looked-for guide of the Muslim world, Master Farad Muhammad, who is the master of the wheel, and the great Jesus, the Christ. The Christ and the Mahdi are one and the same. For Christ means one anointed with power to crush the wicked. And the Mahdi is one also anointed to set justice in the earth and to set down every tyrant. And we are saying that in our humble judgment, he, the Mahdi, the Christ, is so magnificent. There has never been a manifestation of God like him. And when the Quran says in the 112th surah or chapter, and there is none like him, never has there been one like him who is the master of that great mother plane or wheel. He is the manifestation of all of the 99 attributes of Allah plus a few more. As Allah is always coupling his attributes in this manner, he's mighty, but he's wise. He's strong and powerful, but he's the forgiving and the merciful. He is the avenger and the destroyer, but his power is always balanced with his oft returning to mercy and his forgiveness. He's always balanced. We would have to do something so terrible that would allow him to unleash the fullness of the power that he has. Praise, praise be to Allah. You know, Sister uh, SK, Sister <laughs> Dia Karain, you know what is beautiful about this? When we, in our reading today in Ar Rahman, I want us to lift up again verse 29. Chapter 55, verse 29. And look at this, and I, then I want to explain a word. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, all those in the heavens and the earth ask of him. Every moment he is in a state. Now, Malala Muhammad Ali puts in parentheses glory, of glory. But that word that is sha'an, which literally means to pursue an aim, perform a thing well, to know, to care, matter, business. So he's saying that at every moment he is in a state or in business, right? That in every moment he is productive. Mm -hmm. At every moment he is producing, right? So I just want to lift that up because this next clip, the minister raises a question. What if we, could activate or use 95 to 99% of our mental capacity, who would we reflect? Roll that clip. And if you could use 95 to 99% of your mental capacity, then you would be a reflection 
of God himself. This is why we as Muslims can wear the names or the attributes of God. Because we are born to reflect him. The beneficent. The merciful. Mm. Rub the Lord, the nourisher, the sustainer, the evolver. We all have that power to bring a thing into existence and nurture it until it reaches perfection. God made us like himself. You got the power of life and the power of death. Praises be to Allah. So you see that you see that connection, yes, right? Yes. Always just being in that state, right, of taking these attributes. And this is why, you know, we thought this should have called it, you know, living by the book, Attributes in Action, yeah. right? Because in his verse, Allah states his stated condition. Go right ahead. Oh, no, I'm just, you know, listening to you and the minister, and he says that we have that power, right, to bring something into perfection with those different states. Absolutely. Course, you know that there's going to be some obstacles along the way and some things that, you know, would develop us in becoming in that perfected state. But the goal is to be one with Allah and perfected. Absolutely. So and we were out today and the management in the apartment complex wouldn't let us go door to door to let people know that we could bring food. Mm -hmm. Right. They agreed. Then they flipped the script on us. But we set up the table right in the front. And then you should have saw the brothers and sisters just go to work. It took us a little longer than the last couple of weeks. However, we, we didn't we didn't we didn't go into a state of getting frustrated or angry mm -hmm. anything of that nature. We just put into practice. Our being. Right. And at the end of the day, we got the results that we uh, were looking for. Mashallah, mashallah. Uh, praise be to a lot. So we to got today, brother. Oh man, today. we have my beloved brother, this beautiful young man. Here, I remember when when I was in courtship with my wife, and well, I wasn't in courtship with my wife. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you was in courtship. I was in courtship. Wife. Right, right. Soon to be wife, and you know, the first time I um when I flew into. Durham, um, Riley Durham and my brother, he picked me up from the airport. First time meeting him, he picked me up from the airport, man. And I, I'm like saying to myself, I like this dude. <laughs> I said, this is my brother, man. You know, he, he's a wonderful Muslim. Uh, he's an entrepreneur. He's a, he's a husband. He's a go-getter. Uh, he has two beautiful uh, daughters who I, I had a chance to watch, you know, over the last 13 years, grow up to um, to grow into beautiful women, you know, and we, we thank Allah. Uh, I love his spirit. Mm -hmm. He reminds me so much of uh, Brother Lee out of mm -hmm. Fort Worth. They have kindred spirits, just, just naturally. He's naturally funny, right? And it's like when we get around each other, I remember at my wedding, I just start, we start, I start break dancing, right? <laughs> Right, right, right. You saw the centerpiece, right. brother. Oh yes, oh yes. But he's 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 a student minister, Muhammad Moss number uh, thirty four, uh, in Durham, uh, North Carolina. I love the way he teaches. He has the beautiful, just spirit of the word. You know, um, if he wasn't a Muslim, he'd probably be a, a preacher somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he just loves <laughs> he loves the word, man. And I think a lot for him. You know, uh, my wife, Alima, um, you know, I, I was going to say look up to him, but I think me and Brother Mom are about the same height, right? <laughs> I was about to say, we right there at it, bro. Right there at it. But she really admires uh, my brother, along with the believers there in uh, Durham, North Carolina. She, she's 34 through and through. So this is my dear brother, our dear brother, student minister, Aman Muhammad. Praise be to Allah. Praise Brother Amon, I'd like to say thank you, sir, for sending his wife on our way. <laughs> yes, our yes, yes. Are we still waiting on uh, those cows and some land and some. <laughs> right? We need some. We need some more. A dowry. You need yeah, we dowry. need some more in that trade. 
<laughs> we need some more. <laughs> and she's worth every bit of it. And I plus know it. Love it. A few more. <laughs> I, I love it. We still reflect inside. <sighs> <laughs> got a good one. We got a good one. Hey, big guy. Tell you funny, man. I, I love it because he's he's naturally funny. It, it just connects, right? It just it just this connection, and I love it, man. Praise praise be to Allah. We love you much, brother. We love you much. All praise is due to Allah. Assalamu alaikum, family. Wa alaikum salam. And Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Kareem. We are so, so happy to be a part of this this uh this evening. You know, uh Muhammad Mosque number 45 is one of my favorite mosques in the nation of Islam. Such beautiful believers and great leadership, great examples. Really, 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 really appreciate you. And uh I first want to thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for uh, allowing me to serve him and our nation in truth in any capacity, but to try to lift up this word and spread this word. Uh, I thank him every day for um, coming into, or I should say Allah allowed me to come into that life. You know, it's just, it's just so wonderful. And uh, again, the program, this is, Oh man, it's wonderful, and in the, the way it's laid out, you know, I really enjoy uh, preparing for programs more than the program, mm -hmm. as I'm sure sometimes y'all you you well, you could probably relate, and because it gives me a chance to really get into that lab and really see, you know, what's happening, and so this this week as I was, you know, studying and reading about these uh, three attributes that um, we'll be discussing tonight, I said, wow, this is profound. And I really truly believe that Allah gives us, you know, and guides us. And so as much as we're gonna try to attempt to share, I think this is personally, you know, for my benefit as well, you Amen. know? And I don't, I don't think that none of these things happen by accident. My uh, the attributes that we have are uh, three attributes are Al Wali, uh, Al Muta Ali, and An Nafi. Beautiful and powerful, powerful attributes as they all are. I'll start first with uh, Al Wali. Al Wali is the governor or the patron. And it reflects how Allah is the owner of everything and how he deals with everything as he pleases, how he manages the affairs of all of creation and how he initiates and whatever he initiates, he improves that condition of those creatures. In other words, he's a uh, absolute and undisputed ruler. He's the only one who manages all affairs. Nothing continues or nothing remains in existence except by his permission. And everything happens according to his judgment and by his command. That attribute, and, and as I studied it, I saw also that he's gracious in that he halts the advent, the advent of any uh, calamities and mishaps. He also manages situations that we may would deem as you know insignificant or small, but his hand is in all of them. And as I, we looked at that word governor, it had three qualities. One, requiring uh, organization. Two, power. Three, action. And I read a verse in the Holy Quran that I wanted to share 
Holy Quran, uh, Surah 8, Ayat of verse 30. And remember, when those who disbelieve plotted against you to restrain you or kill you or evict you, but they plan and Allah plans, and Allah is the best of planners. So in that verse, we see how no matter what happens, his hand is over all of those hands and his ability and power executed as he organizes it, goes into action, protecting his servants. The believer, we benefit from knowing that Allah is our Wali because we can truly uh, understand and rely on it that nothing can happen except by his permission and that no one can dictate otherwise. It should further solidify the notion of reliance upon him for all matters. When we notice, we can rely on a lot for everything because he's the one who organizes the plan, puts it into action, and then preserves it. In this, sometimes, you know, it, it can be uh, rough because we have to realize that some things that he may do that is good for us might not be the way that we want it. However, that is an aspect of him being the governor. And I reflected over our brother, Brother Hafiz, may Allah be pleased with him, and so many others that during the time of, I would say the peak of COVID-19, there he and many others were martyred. And their great sacrifice deeply affected the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, so much so that he went in the deep prayer and meditation, in seclusion, praying to Allah to show him answers. And out of that came the criteria. So again, we see how Allah's hand as the governor is over and how he used those situations that seem quite terrible and in reality, I guess, you know, we can say that it was, but out of that, look what we receive. So Allah's hand is over those situations, whether we view it to be uh, good or whether we view it to be bad. The second attribute is al Ali, the self-exalted. And I want to start with a verse from the Holy Quran with this attribute. Surah 13, Ayat 9. He is the one who knows the unseen and the seen, the great, the most high. al muta Ali is exalted in his greatness and honors and, and his exaltation which nobody reaches. He's so high, nobody reaches him. And I was reading that in its verbal form, it also means one who feels proud or even arrogant with regard to someone else. And this usage is for us, not for Allah. Now, he's sublime, he's, he's above everything you to his perfection. It also means that he's free from all shortcomings. He's free from all deficiencies. He's so very high above all of his creatures and creation, and he is above need. He does not need our worship. We worship him, but he doesn't need it. 
and he makes his grace available for all that will approach him and strive to attain that grace. And I was reflecting over Brother Ansari's words from that he shared from Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him on cultivating within ourselves the attributes of Allah. Cultivating this particular attribute helps us to remember the persecuted and the downtrodden. And in that, we'll do our best to help them. So hopefully their condition will improve. According to one tradition, it said that, he said that a wretch indeed is a servant of Allah who fancied himself and became conceited, forgetting the great one, Al Muta Ali. Wow. A, a wretch indeed is a servant of Allah who fancied himself and became conceited. This reminded me of something I heard the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan say one evening at the National House. Be careful of what you are good at because whatever you are good at makes you a devil. I didn't quite grasp that right away. And I can't say really that I do now, but I had to leave and I had to think about it. Be careful of that which you are good at because what you are good at makes you a devil. I now think that this shows that a lot alone is self-exalt. We cannot self-exalt. If we try, if we try, we won't ascend, but we will descend becoming a devil because only he is self-exalt. The last attribute I wanted to touch on is an-nafi, an-nafi, the propitious, the benefactor. In this verse from the Holy Quran, Surah 4, Ayat 79, whatever benefit comes to you, O oh man, it is from Allah. And whatever misfortune befalls you, it is from your own self. Wow. So, An-Nafi is the source of any and all benefit and goodness for life in this world. He alone grants good health, wealth, happiness, authority, guidance, and piety. He enables all his creatures to receive the benefits he brings about for them. And he has facilitated for us a path leading to him for any of us who desire to tread it. He benefits our souls through his prophets, nourishes our bodies through food, wards off disease through medicine, and he keeps affliction away through his favors and goodness. Ibn Abbas says that, and I quote, I was once sitting behind the messenger of Allah. So he said to me, young man, I would like to teach you a few words of wisdom. Listen to this. If you safeguard your rights towards Allah, he will protect you. If you remain mindful of Allah rights on you, you will find him looking after you. If you have a plea, then plead to him. If you seek help, seek it from him. And bear in mind that if all people gather together to benefit you in anything, they will not be able to do so except in what he has already allotted for you. And if they all gather together to harm you in any way, they will never be able to do so, except if he has already decreed it on you. The ink has dried and the tablets have been removed. 
I thought that was so beautiful. And the minister has said to us, and I quote, if you put Allah first, he will put you first. If you put Allah first, he will put you first. We have the most wonderful benefactor. I'd like to close that point out with a story about our great benefactor. Once uh, my wife gave me a grocery list and, and uh, I went to the store. I went to the store knowing that my money was funny, right? And uh, I didn't believe in a, a mystery God, but I knew that it wasn't that much stretching in the world. So I'm like, how, you know, how am I gonna get these groceries, right? So I sat in the parking lot trying to uh, prioritize and minimize and do all of that while I'm in the car. And before I got out the car, you know, I'm checking under the seats, and checking in the consoles, you know, it might be a little money somewhere. So ah, I don't find much, but I go ahead and I go into the grocery store to try to make something happen out of nothing. And on the way into uh, the store, I'm going in the door, beautiful black woman, sister, she's coming out the door and she stops me, brother mom. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I want uh, to apologize. You sent a message to your wife that I apologize to her for missing that women's luncheon that she invited me to two months ago. And she uh, was so grateful for the work that we did and you know things we were trying to do in the community. She just kept thanking and thanking and said, we're all, you know, we, we're appreciative, sister. And you know, in that grocery store, went in her purse, took out a wad of money and put it in my hand. I said, Alhamdulillah, that's uh, an Nafi. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I thank uh, you Papa. so much for allowing uh, me to share in the study of those attributes, and and I'm telling you, it it was so so rewarding, and I, I got to really keep studying up on it because I really I really got a lot out of. It. Thank you. No, thank you. Praise be to Allah, beloved. Very, very beautiful. And again, to society, I love that story at the end because remember a couple of days ago, we were literally talking about how does Allah intervene in our affairs, right. right? Dealing with, we know we have power within ourselves that's from him, right? But when we in scenarios like what Brother Student Minister just Brother Mind just laid out for us, right? And if he hears us and he answers our present, how is it going to work? How does that force work? You know, because I, I was hoping, I know he wasn't going to say he went in the store and did a three finger <laughs> discount. <laughs> no, that's right. No, no, my boy. <laughs> no, no. no. Talking about, about, I know the God, he know he knows my condition, he understands. <laughs> no. He right. took the two fish, right? And right, out of necessity. Five, five out of necessity. Of bread and fed the multitude. <laughs> oh, but you know, but but no, beloved, but because this show is designed to discuss a lot from working in us and then using others. Yes. Right? Yes. It's that it's that same force is what we're talking about, right? Yes. You know, that's the go go right ahead. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. All right, sister then. Your question. No, no, and as you're talking, as, as you're telling the story, uh, and your your commentary, brother Alim, I'm thinking about the definition of what the messenger gives us of what an angel is, and an angel yeah, is a person absolutely. with a righteous mind, right? Absolutely. And this, she, in her spirit, she came to you after you made that prayer, right? Yes. And then you know the fact that she said, "Look, I apologize for not showing up." And and then gave a donation, some charity with it, right? Yeah. Your yeah. word, yeah. an apology with some charity. So and right. it, it's a right. manifestation of these these three attributes because you talk about not being self-exalted, but she saw the God in you. 
right? And Allah was being lifted up out of you, not only just from your prayers, but just from, you know, the service that you give to the believers and, and how you serve Allah to the, the degree that people want to continue to serve you, not necessarily you, but the Allah that's in you. Yes, 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 yes. that's the key. And, and you know, he does great work with Black Family Day. We're going to ask you to talk about that um, before you um, leave from, from us today, inshallah. Yes, sir. Inshallah. But I want, but Sister Celia, you raised up the term angel, mm. right? And you find that in Surah 97, right? I think it's the third or fourth verse where it talks about that the angels descend, descend yes. right? And when we understand that that is really talking about righteous human beings, right? right? Yes. Whom Allah yes. chooses to use. But I want us brothers and sisters to also go into chapter 41, verse 30 through 32. And it reads, and those who say our Lord is Allah, then continue in the right way. The angels descend upon them saying, fear mm -hmm. not, nor grieve, nor be grieved, and receive the good news of the garden which you were promised, mm. right? Then it says, "We talking about the angels and 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 this these these this God, right?" He says, "We are your friends in this world's life and in the hereafter, mm. and you have therein what your souls desire, and you have therein what you ask for." And then look what he ends with, a welcome gift from the forgiving, the merciful. Mm -hmm. Those two attributes, mm -hmm. right? So these two attributes at the end lets us know how 31 and 30 come about, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because if I'm constantly seeking forgiveness and I'm constantly seeking his Rahim, his mercy, right? And that Rahim tells me something about the forgiveness, right? Then yeah. 31 and 32 naturally happens. Mm -hmm. See, so you're right. You know, we don't believe in no mystery, God, but minister. You're absolutely yeah. correct. Right. But just, right. but just go right ahead. Go right ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to uh, jump in there. You know, the, the, the reality of, of what, you're, what you're speaking and the, the in that clip, the minister talked about 90 to 95 percent, right? How we would be reflecting, you know, God in person, if you will, you know, so as, as we're, as we're striving, we'll, we'll, we see it. And, and some days are better than other days, you know, so many, in many instances, you know, we may not even realize when we are being angels in somebody else's life. Right. You know, that's what I was thinking about as, as you were, we're sharing that and we don't realize it because we're, we're closer to our natural self as we should be. So yeah, we're yeah. just moving about, but somebody somewhere is like, wow, I, yeah, I interacted with a angel today. We're not even conscious of it because we're, we're really functioning as we really should be. Yes. And then that's the beauty also, and since then I want to go to your question, but that's the beauty of your work that you're doing in Durham, right? That's that's the beauty of it. We, we're not sitting at home, you know, waiting on a mystery God. Oh, no. Right? And Allah, Allah we know, works through human beings. Beings. Right? right? And she mentioned that work, and that's why I want you to talk about that towards the end of the program. So, Sadia, go right ahead, please. So, you know, my question... Uh, typically be about your personal experience and the mission and how you elevate these attributes. So you as a student minister, you um, as a follower of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, because you're in a leadership position. So how do you um, be the one that is reflective of these attributes of Allah, but not the word you use, a wretched, indeed, a servant who uh, fancies himself and come and is conceited. I conceded, think that's what yes. you said. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. What they say, yes. a wretch like me. Right. So how do right. you not be a wretch and you display these attributes of Allah 
in the leadership position that you have, that Allah has blessed you, um, that bestowed upon you. Right, right, right. You're right, sister. Blessed and bestowed. Some some days you're like, is this a blessing? Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, right? So, <laughs> but you know, you have you have to, in all of those, in all of those attributes, um. You, you you learn so much about the th the thinking of the God, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, even when we weren't Muslims, we heard that you know my ways are not your ways, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my thoughts are, are from above, from my yours are below. We, we we heard that we didn't quite you know grasp okay. you know the fullness of you know most times we have you know thinking thinking. And so we have to really clean ourselves up and come up. And in that over time and studying those things, one of the observations I have is how, you know, Allah is not into himself like that. He's just like the, some that we some of the points we lifted today, he's a he's above me. Yes, we worship him, but he doesn't he doesn't need us to worship him. Because if we if he needed us to worship him, he would no longer be worthy of worship. He, he you know, we he if we if he needed us like that, then he's no longer worthy of worship. So one of the things I've learned is that we have to strive to not be so uh connected to outcomes that we would like to see and we start trying to you know cut on and off you know turn the faucet or um as we also learn you know a lot doesn't rain just on the dust he rains on the unjust you know he doesn't you know get upset and instantly cut off somebody's breath you know because they offended him in some kind of way and there are people on the planet who uh, don't even pray to him, right? Don't even acknowledge him. Just live their life, you know, they don't acknowledge him. So, you know, these are the things that, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying all that to come back to this leadership thing that we are striving to be in, that I try to always keep that in my mind that I do no favor seeking gain that a thank you is good or kind but i don't need it oh brother we appreciate such and such that sounds good but i don't need it i don't need to hear that to keep going or to keep doing good you know and that's one of the things that in these attributes when you really get into these attributes He's the he's perfect in all of them, absolutely. But it does give us something to 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 strive toward, to live up to. That I'm not going to um, require of people certain responses before mm -hmm. I respond in a certain kind of way, or don't respond at all, or ignore people, even if they ignore me. I mean, so. I don't want to go too far, but these are the little, little things that I use to try to keep my head straight and really serve the, the believers in the community that are under the charge of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Keeping them in mind, I'm a steward, I'm a shepherd. They're not really mine like that, you know? So those are just... It, it gets me to the next day. It gets me to the next day. Yeah, our, our brother student regional captain said, teach. Brother Stephen said, we do it for the Brother Stephen. Yeah, we do it for the pleasure of our Lord. That's, that's right. right. That's, and that's, that's right. That, and that nails it. That nails it. Because throughout the Quran, you know, you're right. Because when you look at certain verses in the Quran, you find Allah lifting up himself or glorifying himself or praising himself right mm -hmm. and you see that in surah 17 verse 1 
Then you find when some verses in the Quran where you have individuals praising Allah for something that they did or something that Allah did, right, yeah. for them, right? You even got creation bearing witness yes. to, to Allah, right? But what I found in the verses, brother, is that, and sister, is that the verses where Allah is raising his glory, his, the glorifying himself, right, or praising himself, we're made to say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and that's that point that Brother Stephen is making. We do it for the pleasure of our nourisher, our sustainer, our evolver. Because how do we encourage our, where does that encouragement come from? Yes. yes. Right? You know, yes. I heard someone say before, which was beautiful, he said, inspiration comes from within. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, if you drink enough water, you will be inspired enough to go to the restroom. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So it 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 is this encouragement from your Lord that the human soul, the human spirit needs, because Allah says that I breathe into his spirit and he became, in yes. according to biblical language, a what? Yes. A living soul. Living soul. You know? So that's important that this is why we read the Holy Quran throughout the month, in, in particular throughout the month of Ramadan, getting that what? That feeding mm -hmm. that human soul. Yes. Right, feeding that human soul from the breath of 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 Allah, and then this carries us. So yes. when you were looking at these attributes, what connection? Because you said so much. I love the one with the point you gave about Nafi, right? The, especially the, also the one about Muta Ali, right? How can one with your three attributes help themselves? in whatever condition that they're in with these particular attributes that you have. Yes. How, yeah. can, how can one help themselves with these attributes? Because, you know, the minister's about to leave, right? Yes. Yes. He's about to yes. depart. Yes. Paul said, I yes. cannot yes. leave until Christ is yes. formed in the people. Yes. Yes. Right? So yes. it's a discussion really of where I need to be in this point in time that I'm in. So how do your three attributes can help me, you know, or help us as believers or anyone lost by anyone in this um, state yes. that we're in? Yes. The, the, those three parts, the organization, organization, power, and action. Mm. Organization, power, <laughs> and action. You know, we, we the, the minister says it often, we must become organized, organized. And even when we look in creation, it's nothing that really, any way you look that would make you, it's unorganized. So a lot of where we allow a lot of energy to dissipate is from our own, uh, this organization. So we can have force, yes. For, yeah, force and power, yes. But if it's desperate or, uh, or unorganized, we can't, we can't, we can't get it together. We can't get it together. So one of the first things I would say to any of us, you know, when you look at all of these attributes, especially the three that uh, allow, allowed me to lift up today, you know, Organize, organization, planning. He's the best of what? Planners. Mm -hmm. He's his hand is over their hand. No matter what happens, he's already got something uh, 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 planned ahead of time that's already in place even before they finish planning whatever the plan was that they was planning. You know, mm -hmm. so you know that's. That to me, that's that's a lot, you know, us organizing and trying to use these principles that we're learning to see as far as we can, trusting in Allah, but using the wisdom that he gives us to plan, mm -hmm. to plan and build up our uh, power, you know, our power, our potential power and the power that's generated by us engaging in action.
our kinetic power. But we have to keep up our prayer. We have to keep up our study that builds up our internal power. An internal power that we can execute what it is that we are organizing. You know, whenever, or we should, whenever we get together and we meet and whatnot, we're planning whatever it is that we're planning, the last part of that agenda should have somewhere in it what they call action items, right? Mm -hmm. You know, some, some action items that we're going to leave from this and put this in the in the place. So you you always see what Allah in the manifestation of these attributes. You always see Him organizing, building up, dispensing, and rebuilding power, and always taking action. If we, if we take on that attitude, you know, and engage in all of those things on a daily basis, um, I, I would dare say, you know, we will be, pro we'll be pro progressive. It, it, it's, it's on us to blow. It's on us to blow it. Mm. Be to That's right. Be acts of that's acts. right. That's right. Love it. Acts of devotion. Uh, that's right. I use it and quote you. <laughs> no, that came from, um, that came from this book right here. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's right. That's right. The green and gold book. Right. Because we have a certain way that, that we um, perform our acts of devotion. That's right. One of them That's is right. like Brother Eileen being part of the uh, brother um, student minister. Email Eileen. Let me get it right. Right, right, right. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That That's right. Stack. We get That's right. Stack. That's it right. Shows, it shows you where. And it shows you where the people are. Like I said in the beginning, Brother Armand is an That's entrepreneur. Right. He's an entrepreneur. Brother, Brother Armand, I ain't going to say he'll sell anything, but he can sell <laughs> That's <laughs> what right. Brother, what did Brother Captain say? He said, I don't sell anything. Well, how do he put it? Yeah, I, yeah. he I delivered a word. I delivered yeah, a word. I a word, and they give me a donation for it. That's right. right. That's right. You know, that's but, right. but that's at the core of my <laughs> beloved brother, student minister Amari. Ah. He, he's, he's absolutely a, a go getter, a spirited uh, human being. Talk to us, beloved, about Black Family Day. The yes, origin, sir. how it came about, and what do you all do with that? Yes, sir. It's, uh, well, I think everybody who's probably listening to this um, knows where I got that from. Oh, but, <laughs> but it came out of uh, a desire to um, give something to our community at that time that, that we could cover a lot of bases at one time in terms of the word, you know, the arts, culture, economic development, education. And so... Uh, this was in 1996. So I said, well, why, you know, why uh, try to reinvent the wheel? You know, we already had something that was successful. I just, I, I used the model of the minister. And um, so it seemed like a good idea at the time. And Allah's, that's why I said, when I, when I looked at these attributes you gave me, I said, oh man, this is, this is powerful. But it was never my intention at that time to cause any controversy or, you know, I didn't think it was going to be a problem. I, at that time, my store was downtown and I saw other downtown events and blocked off streets and, um, you know, nobody ever came to me and asked me, you know, for other events that I, would I mind the street being blocked off. So I figured, um, I do I do this downtown too. So I went to try to fill out an application for street closing, which one didn't exist. So I knew then I said, that's interesting. So uh, I used one that I used in another uh, city for a similar event one time in, in Greensboro, as a matter of fact, when I was the mob secretary, I used that. I said, well, that'll work. It, it worked with the city manager then. And then they denied it. And I said, well, why, why you deny it? 
And uh, so they made up a lot of stuff and said, give us some time to come up with a policy. We don't have a street closing policy. And um, so I said, okay. They came up with a policy and then the policy was designed to block us. How about that? Mm. So that went back and forth for some time. And ultimately uh, we ended up suing the, um, the city and, um, and uh, we were victorious by, by Allah's grace. But the, the struggle between that literally was four years from 96 to 2000. And normally these type of place, you know, uh, municipalities, they wait you out, right? Or bleed you out. But uh, I talked to the minister and shared with him what was going on. And he assured me that Allah was going to bless us to be successful. So you know how much I cared about the opposition, right? Yeah. And so once we had his blessing, then Allah blessed us to be able to do that. And even for those four years that we were not able to do it exactly where I wanted to do it, we still had the event in other spots, parks and whatnot, but never losing uh, that idea. But because of that, what they tried to do in their plan, Allah's plan was we got of course, it made uh, regional news out of here. It was on TV, you know, radio, interviews. All I couldn't have never paid for all of that uh, publicity, right? But they helped to do that. And so now we're, uh, by Allah's grace, we're in our 28th year mm -hmm. of, um, of doing that, hosting that. And Allah has blessed us to... Uh, really literally watch a generation of people mm -hmm. come up and um, children grow up and people come and businesses that have gotten started. We've met people who are, who are couples married now who met at the, uh, you know, had met at the event, you know? So it's something that's really here in North Carolina. It is uh, something that a lot of our people look forward to and, and over the years, it's now black folks, uh, those who would say that they're Latino or Hispanic. Uh, we have Asians that come out now and uh, and white people that are proud <laughs> to come out. You know, hey, I'm just telling you what they say, brother. You know, yeah. um, that that so Allah has really uh, blessed that. But I, I still give credit, of course, to Allah and but also the vision. Of Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who right. at that time, uh, many of us were, you know, we just, you know, you know, the enemy is just the enemy. Let it, you know, let it go. No, we're not going to let it go. And some of us were not, um, did not want to go to court either. Um, you know, in terms of going to court, that's a waste of time, suing and whatnot. But the minister didn't tell me that. Mm. The minister didn't say, don't go to court. You know what I mean? So because we decided to do that, the um, we, we won. And part of the settlement was the new law. Uh, just I have to put this in there. The new law, we had to um, okay it. And if we was like, nah, that ain't going to work. So there's, there's one law on the books. That's a statute that our hand is involved in writing and in perpetuity, they can never, ever, ever deny the nation of Islam, street closing events wise or anything like that, never, ever. They can never, they can tell other groups, but they can never tell the nation of Islam, never, ever, 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 ever know. Like never, ever. Yes. Yeah, so Thank you, inshallah. Very beautiful, inshallah. Inshallah, come on! It's gonna be bigger than it's gonna be bigger than the uh, state fair, in North Carolina. <laughs> right, 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 right. Good point, brother. Good point. Good point. And that's oh, that's nice pretty thing. big. That's right. That's right. Now tell us when um when is the next family day? Well, uh, norm normally we do it the first uh Saturday after. Labor's Day. Um, I think this year will be September 
10th and 11th, 12th, somewhere in there. I can't say right off the top of my head. Normally, that that weekend after uh, Labor Day is when, when, when it's hosted. Okay. All right. And then we can tell, is it in Durham, North Carolina? It's in, it's in Reedsville, North Reed. Carolina. North yeah. Carolina. Yes, yes, which is uh, right, you know, it's close to, um, well, Greensboro, Durham. It's really almost uh, in the middle, kind of northern part of North Carolina. You'll, you'll run right through it. You'll run right through it. So but on that day, on that day, we make the population go up. <laughs> and you contribute to the economy, right? That's right. And that, and so That's that, right. There's a benefit. That's right. That's right. Now that date, the first Saturday after Labor Day is, it looks like the 7th, September 7th. September 7th, okay, because all right. Labor Day is on the 2nd. 2nd this year, that's right, that's right. 2nd this year. Good. Right. Good. Praise be to Allah. Now, Praise is there a to website Allah. that people can go to? Yes, yes, ma'am. The easiest, if you go um, on uh, Facebook, um, Black Family Day is on Black Family Day, North Carolina, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter and uh, blackfamilyday.org, uh, O-R-G, blackfamilyday.org. Okay, and we'll put it in the chat box, family. I appreciate the promo, too. Oh, yes. Oh, man, Houston top shelf. Houston top shelf. <laughs> we trying I to can't, like I, can't, <laughs> I can't find no fault with y'all. Only thing I can find is y'all ain't in the right, your mosque ain't in the right region. Other than that, <laughs> I give you all thumbs up. You know, Thank if you was in the Mid-Atlantic, you'd be perfect. <laughs> the blessings flow from, from North Carolina to, to Houston. <laughs> all right. And other than that, you know, other than that, perfect. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. You know, that, that's the beauty of it, brother. But that's what also what this is about, because it's about living living by the book. You know, yes, at, yes. attributes and actions because yes. you know that's what we're putting forth. Yes, you know, we're putting him forth, yes. you know, in, in our existence. It is him. Yes. You know, scripture said, Greater is he that is in me than the him that is in the yes. world. Yeah. Right. So yes. so the more we're promoting that he, yes. right, him, you know, yes. is 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 what we want to see. But because this hour is very critical of the time that we're in, that's you know, right. so it's, right. it's, it's important. But we got to eat today, though. That's right. right. So we got to keep pushing forward. So praise be to that's Allah. That's right. That's right. Praise be to Allah. Now, the, there was a question in the in the, the, the box, the Q and A box. It says, "Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak." And I believe you just already talked about this, but I didn't like, say brother yeah. Mom. And it says, can you talk about how having true knowledge of the 99 attributes is highly beneficial in accomplishing the mission of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan in raising our people from mental dead and sloth into life and high activities? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's really the whole discussion. You know, when we come on, that's what we really want to hear um, in just giving us the meaning, but also how do these attributes work? Yes. Right. Because the minister really lays it out for us. And Sister Deb, you can read. I know we're going to hear the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, but if you can read the minister, that last tweet that we normally would you say okay. before we put up the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, because I think that goes at the essence of what the question is and what Brother Aman, Sue Minister Aman, is laying out uh, for us. Go right here. Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan stated, if you run down all of the attributes, characteristics of God, these are also the attributes of human beings who are crafted by the creator. Yes. These are the attributes of human beings who's crafted by the creator. Right? And as we and as we read earlier in that ayah, so it's always about us cultivating the, the, the attributes of God within us so that the whole world can see. Yeah, it's it's him, right? It's it's yeah. literally him, right? We just called to him, um, Aman or or uh, Sister Yeah, Dede, that's right, right? That's right. But it's it's him, right? So that that's the beauty. That's really the beauty of of what we are striving to get across. 
You thinking about something, brother Mark? Go ahead. Yeah, I you're right. I, I know you too well. But uh, you know, what you were saying, brother, is so beautiful. And 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 we were talking about earlier about how uh Allah is not in in, in need of his creatures and and you know, and I hear sometimes we'll uh, mention um Allah, you know, Allah doesn't have any helpers, but you know, but it, it it's really Allah has no helpers because of weakness. You know, right, so right. it's not that he doesn't have any help. So it's not that he doesn't, you know, use us. But when we reflect over, as, as what you're saying, when we, when we reflect over Allah's infinity, mm -hmm. when we reflect over his infinity, in that sense, he needs humanity to keep showing his infinity. Because as mm -hmm. in, since the since the beginning of time has never been anybody like me ever. Never right. been unsorry ever. It's never been a sadia. It's never been and after we're gone, there will never, ever, ever be anybody like us. So as long as people are coming, right? As long as people are coming on the planet, he's demonstrating through us, he's infinite. He's in, he's we're the proof that he's He's infinite. So yeah. I mean, we 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 owe it to ourselves and him to find out who we are and 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 strive to live that in his that's it. in his fullness. That's it. So you know, right when Allah gave Muhammad the first revelation on the night of power, if you look in Malana Muhammad Ali translation, he states, he quotes, the prophet is reported to have said. I love that I should be known, so I created man, <laughs> which is male and female, yes. right? To continue yes. his oneness. So on a, our very first show, Ahad, we talked yes. about his, we talked about his oneness, yes. right? Yes. That is that that permeates through us all, yes. right? So we can say one times one times one times yes. one, and it go it goes on. That's right. Yes. And it's still yes. what. One. It's still one. Still one. It's still one. It's still one. So this is why we praise Allah for intervening in our affairs in the person of Master Fard Muhammad, the great Mahdi, because we wouldn't have known any of this. Any of this. Right? right. It'd be, it'd be, it would be it would be laid in us. But me and my me and by the regional captain, Sue Regional Captain but Stephen was on the corner today having a conversation. This somewhat similar. So when you think about this Allah, right? And we may be other, than, we are other than ourselves, right? Dealing with people that were other than ourselves, but that God is buried in that other than self. Yeah. Right? Trying to come up, constantly striving. Yes. Cause that yes. jihad, is, the jihad is still real. The struggle yes. is still real in yes. that state. So there's something that's going on within the human being, regardless of that state that the human being is in. It's yes. just a blessing that we are in a little bit more control. Absolutely. Meaning that we have a little bit more awareness. Absolutely. So we can rise above emotion into the thinking of God. We can readily identify it. Yes. Right? Versus when you're just totally other than yourself, don't really know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we we go and start taking medication, doing whatever. Yes. Right to address how I'm feeling internally. Right, and so that's that's the beauty that we're looking at really in this discussion. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. And as you um you're talking, it makes me think about you know the Eid al Fitr that coming up. Yes. Surah yeah. 3030. You know, the nature yeah. of who we are. We're coming back right. to our coming nature. To nature. Back yeah. to our nature. That's right. Yes. And that's what we go through Ramadan. Because we at the end of every night, it's called an iftar. Same yes. word, fitr, but iftar. It's the breaking, the breaking of the fast, but it's the returning Turn. to self. Back to ourselves. And we can take all those natural things again. Yeah. 
Mm. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> Great Allah discussion. Allah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man. Great discussion. Praise be to Allah. See, Brother Marcus, you did it again. Yes. <laughs> you did it again. But great discussion. Thank you, my dear brother. Love you, man. Love you, too. Love, love the family, man. Oh, give, 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 give the family the greetings yes. uh, from us. Yeah, and absolutely. Do. Both of you do the same to you and your family. We'll do. And, and all of the believers there, please do. Yes, sir. absolutely. We'll do. We'll do. And, and the indeed. cows is on the way, sir. The cows are <laughs> on the way. <laughs> but, right. it like a, but it looks like the 40 acres in the mule now. <laughs> oh, the land as well, sir. The land as well. <laughs> all right. Praise be <laughs> to Allah. So hold on, brother Amon. We need you. Yes, ma'am. So Tomorrow's episode, episode 29. Oh my God. This was so much fun, y'all. We have our dear brother, Brother Rahim Mahmoud, who will be blessing us tomorrow with his interpretation of the attributes of Allah. So tune in tomorrow. And then if you want to hear today's replay, go to Facebook, Moss45, or YouTube at 99 The One, The Most Beautiful Names. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at 99TMBN. And you can hear us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, or Podbean, which is also the platform that we hear our UMA reflects. Mm. And we are a nonprofit organization. So every dollar, every cent that you give to us, it is a tax write-off. And if you open up your phone, you place your camera on the QR code, a link should come up. You press the link. It should take you to a donation page, or you can manually put it in for Cash App at dollar sign 99 the one, Zell 99TMBN at gmail.com. And we thank you in advance because your dollars are already going to work. We're helping to propagate the faith and also help our community. The closet is open, KC, Camila's Closet, where we create stylish and modest designs, especially for you. Again, open up your camera, scan the QR code to shop, use code 99THE1 for 10% off until your, for your next order until April 14th. Mm. And our dear brother, Brother Abdul Kiyam Muhammad, who is the social media helper of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I mean, well, that too, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Teachings 2.0, Volume 1 through 3B, the Twitter sayings of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And you can visit and purchase store.finalcall.com to purchase yours. And we have our dear sister, Sister Fatima A. Muhammad, her Ramadan journal and planner, It Is Not Too Late, 30 day companion, including daily Quranic Jews, weekly reflection prayer tracker, and more. And you can visit her shop at at my sister's house .org to purchase. And finally, we have our dear brother, student minister, brother Dimitri Muhammad's Ramadan 2024 Quranic Reading Journal and Historical Digest. This is the sixth one. I encourage you to get the other five because it's so much history from for and from our nation in those books. And you can go to shop.researchminister.com to purchase. And we close with words from the honorable minister. Uh, we close with words from the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as he talks about these attributes of Allah. Not in the name of the creator, which consists of 100 names. Allah make up that one hundred. Ninety-nine attributes that make up his whole name, Allah, which means he's all in all, the God of righteous and truth and justice, love and mercy. We must have one of these names of God. The Bible teaches us that without the name of God, we cannot see the hereafter. Praise be to Allah. He is all in all. Praise be to Allah. Praise be right. to Allah. There you go. All right. So we want to say before we close out, 
tomorrow is also youth day. So please tune in early, well, on time, 5 p.m., because we have a very special, special, special uh, program tomorrow on youth day. Mm. All right, family. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. Mubarak. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Wonderful, Praise wonderful, you. wonderful. Thank you, thank you, my dear brother. Oh, Bless thank you. you. Thank you. Bismillah. <laughs> He is the benevolent, the giving and merciful. He so indescribable. His love is irreversible. Word undeniable. Lyrically untriable. Ultimately viable. Eternally suppliable. Maybe inconceivable, but beautifully believable. The true reality. There's no similarity. Gave us more than charity, peace and prosperity. Why did we never care to see it? We can keep its clarity. The Almighty, the Father, metaphorically, but in the history they tried to make his word a mystery. Gave a mortality, anthropomorphic fallacy. Say he's got a seed, they can never bring the proof to me And honestly, the greatest, the best beyond time and space Beyond matter and flesh, yes, he's uncomparable Yet his parables, infinitely list of pictures Couldn't give a good description, the pictures missing But he created all the living in every dimension And he inspired what I'm giving, the giver of wisdom Devoid of any needs, anything that he wants All he has to say is be, cause he's the untouchable Infinitely trustable, his plan unstoppable, power unstoppable Topable, the reliable, undeniable, greater than the physical, master of the mystical, the master of the worlds, the fashioner of seas, the crafter of the universe, the atoms to the bees.